عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاق قلبي من أساه محنته وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت خير يسكب في أنا كم مرة قد ضقت من عظام البلاء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It's a bit windy, I know, and uh, I thought to myself, let's just record outside. I can see a bit of sun, I can see the birds out, so I thought, why not? Let's just get uh, uh, the recording done outside. Um, it's not the hottest, but, you know, with the kids inside, and, you know, they're going to make a lot of racket, as you know, they're, they're at home. Uh, so, subhanAllah, I thought, let's just go and uh, get this recording done. Now, this video, to be honest, is going to dispel the rhetoric that we hear constantly day in day out it's like they've been synchronized they've been programmed to utter this constantly because they have no nuanced approach they are so you know dogmatic and so box-headed that they can't see past their rhetoric that they've been brainwashed with so what this is about is that the madakhila and the super salafis and the like consistently say that khuruj or rebellion or revolt it was placed in the books of Aqaid, meaning the books of belief. So now this is a matter of creed. So that's their level of argument. So because it was placed in the books of creed, this now uh, is a fundamental and it's part of belief, it's part of Aqidah. So before going to the court to show them, okay, then if you're going to use this stance and this rhetoric, then we'll see if you would agree to everything else being creed that were placed in the books of creed. So. There's a context and there's uh, elaboration that is required to understand why. So let's listen to Shamsi. Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, this is uh, just a quick video. I'm going to start doing, addressing, asking simple questions to Haji. Because I've noticed Haji, if you start doing long videos, he doesn't get it. He doesn't not get it. He's uh, as if you're speaking to him in different language or you are utilizing uh, uh, different books. So a simple question I'm going to start asking Haji and his followers and anyone that was upon the way of Haji. Haji, if I open the books of Aqaid, the Aqidah, if I want to learn about Aqidah, the correct belief, which book should I go to? The books of the Salaf or the books of the Mu'tazila or the books of the Khawarij? Of course, you're going to say the books of the Salaf. I believe so. Because uh, you're not going to expose yourself even though you oppose the Salaf. So the question, if I start reading the book of the Salaf, which one is going to teach me that it's okay to rebel against the oppressive Muslim ruler? Is it the books of the Salaf, the Aqaid of the Salaf, or the books of Aqaid al-Mu'tazila and the Khawarij? Please, without saying us your life story, just answer a simple question. If you are telling us, is the books of the Salaf and Aqidah, name one book of Aqidah that the Salaf wrote, and it says from the Aqidah of Ahl-Sunnah wal jamaah to rebel against the Muslim leader, even if it's oppressive. Okay, just one book, name it, please. Okay, I hope you're gonna answer my question uh, without an actual life story. Or, and uh, there's other questions, my brothers and sisters, to see that Hajji is the enemies of the books of the Salaf. That's why he goes to books of Fiqh and the books of history, which him and Shia are the same. Shia and Islamic haters, if they want to start bringing doubt about Islam, they will go to the books of Fiqh because there's other opinions that the island bring other opinions. Likewise, the books of history. Okay, so my question, I hope, is a clear. It is clear to you, O oh, Haji. Barakallah for you, brothers and sisters. There's more questions to come, inshallah. As you heard Shamsi mention, O oh, Haji, give us a book of creed that mentions it's permissible to rebel against the Muslim ruler. And that's his line of argument. So he's basically trying to argue, all right, we've got books of creed that mention you shouldn't do rebellion. So you give us one book that mentions that it's permissible to do so. And then he mentioned... Uh, he's like the Shia, he goes to the books of fiqh. Shamsi, honestly, he doesn't get it and his, uh, his crowd don't get it, honestly. So, the question I need to ask you is this, before going into uh, the actual video, is why are you caught in fiqh? He goes to the books of fiqh and, and history and, you know, he's like the Shia, you know, just emotionally based arguments, you know, it's got no substance at all. But just to add as well, today's day is the 5th of June and you're up to lesson 7 on your Usul video and I've watched all or most of them. And I'll let you know, Shamsi, the more you open this, the more you get yourself into trouble. So just let, I'm just letting you know that there's a lot of uh, 
uh, <laughs> issues or mistakes that you made yet again. So it just shows your box headedness, your dogmatism is not getting you anywhere, son. So if you don't understand Shamsi's point, what he's trying to argue is this: is that as Khuruj was placed in the books of Aqaid, okay, book, placed in the books of Aqaid, that this is solely a creedal matter. Do you understand what I mean? That's his argument. That's what he's trying to uh, push as his as his argument or his evidence. So what I want from the Madakhila and the Super Salafis is be consistent now. Because if that's your sole premise and that's your argument, okay, that's your argument, that's your premise, then when I present many other elements or rulings that are basically connected to fiqh, the far'iyya, the far'u, masail ijtihadiyya, in terms of the subsidiary matters, and they're also placed in the books of creed, then are you going to say that they are also matters of creed? So let's get into this now and present many, many uh, rulings or many, many positions that are solely connected to fiqh that are placed in the books of creed. So then we will argue then, why would you not argue that this is connected to aqidah? So let's get into this now. So as you can see, in my hand, I've got the book Shar sunnah by Imam al-Muzani. Now Imam al-Muzani is a student of Imam al-Shafi'i. Imam al-Muzani, in his, in his book of creed, mentions shortening the prayers while traveling. Okay, shortening the prayers while traveling. So, Shara Sunnah by Imam Muzani. So I'd like to ask you now, Shamsi and the Madakhila, is shortening the prayers a matter of creed? It's in the book of creed. Okay? So is it a matter of creed? You have to stick by your principle. Because if you're arguing that, you're championing that, then why isn't this creed then? Let's carry on. We're going to present many more. As you can see on screen, we've got the book, I'tiqad Abi Abdullah Sufyan ibn Sa'id al-Thawri. Now this is the belief of Sufyan al-Thawri. Now as you can see on screen, okay, Sufyan al-Thawri says, so in his book of creed mentions that wiping over leather socks is more better and more just than washing your feet. Okay, what's going on there Shamsi? Let's carry on. Sufyan al-Thawri also places in his book of creed, what? that you should pray behind a transgressive or sinful uh, person and you should do jihad with him until the day of judgment so books of creed jihad and praying behind a rajul al barru fajr is not creed it's not creed at all so wiping over the leather, leather socks praying behind a try uh, a, a transgressive person and doing jihad with that person uh, is now, Aqidah, yeah? Is that what you're going to agree upon? Wiping over the other socks? Shortening the prayers? Books of Creed, isn't it? So, what, we will argue that now. So, from today on in, wiping over the other socks, etc. are matters of Creed. Let's carry on. We've got the book now. The mother of all books. The Talmud of the Madkhalis. Shar sunnah by Imam al-Barbahari. And as you can see on screen, okay? Imam Barbahari, under number 40, Three, that is no problem in praying in trousers. So praying in trousers now is a matter of creed. Okay, so <laughs> so if you're championing that, okay, if you're championing that, then everything what I just mentioned. So let's recap. Um, shortening the prayers is a matter of creed. Wiping over leather socks is a matter of creed. Um, praying behind a transgressive person. Is a matter of creed and doing jihad with the ruler is a matter of creed now okay and now praying in trousers is also a matter of creed okay let's carry on also in the same book under number 95 imam barbahari says he said wa'alam anna al-mut'ata muta nisa wal istihlal al-haram ila al-yawm al-qiyamah he mentions and know that muta meaning muta with women and making it halal is haram until the day of judgment so hold on here so muta with women and making it halal for yourself is haram into the day of judgment so that's a matter of creed now so we could argue now well rather you could argue and you could go to the shia when you debate the shia and say you know what in the talmud of the madkhalis shara sunnah that muta with women uh, is haram into the day of judgment and this is creed are you gonna argue that now so what do you have to say for yourself so it doesn't make sense does it shabti but for a madkhali for an institutionalized uh programmed uh madkhali it all makes sense, doesn't it? Let's carry on. We got more. Okay. Bashar Kitab Fiqh Al Akbar. 
by Imam Abu Hanifa. Now, I'll be fair, it's attributed to Imam Abu Hanifa. Uh, there's actual uh, discrepancies as to whether Imam Abu Hanifa wa ta'ala wrote this book, but it's ascribed to Imam Abu Hanifa. Okay, and this is the Sharah of Mullah Ali Qari rahimullah wa ta'ala. Okay, so as you can see on screen, wipe it over leather socks is Sunnah and Taraweeh in the night in the month of Ramadan is Sunnah. Now, let me get this straight wipe it over leather socks is a matter of creed. And according to Sufyan Authority as well, in his creed book, which is an extract from uh, La Ika'i's uh, book, uh, Aqidah book. So, and also praying Taraweeh in the month of Ramadan is Sunnah. So that's creed. That's in the books of creed. And then you're going to be a bit surprised who else places this in the books of creed. Oh, don't get too pushy yet. Don't get, don't get too hasty. Eh? Don't become Musta'jil. Don't become hasty because there's someone else who put this in his books of creed as well which you look up to very much. So let's go into uh, the quote by, or the shot of Mawla al Qari, as you can see on screen. After mentioning, obviously, uh, the Taraweeh, and he mentions that this is a refutation against the Rawafid. So now I'm gonna get into the crux of it now. The reason why it was mentioned, okay, because it was a characteristic of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It doesn't mean it's Aqeedah. Wiping over leather socks is not Aqeedah. Traveling or shortening the press is not Aqeedah. Taraweeh is not Aqeedah. It's from the Masail al Ahkam, meaning the Fur'iya. It's from the rulings, okay, from the jurisprudence. And also, praying behind a, a Rajul who is fajid or, 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 you know, transgressive is not creed. So it was the characteristic of Ahl Sunnah that differentiated them from all other sects. Now, Khuruj, this was in response to the Khawarij who were rebelling because of making takfir, because of their belief that anyone that commits uh, or, or perpetrates a major sin is a kafir. So this was the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. We do not make takfir of those who rebel or we do not make takfir of the rulers unless they fall into clear kufr. Whereas the uh, Khawarij made takfir based on sin. So if you committed zina, if you stole major sins meaning, then you're a kafir. So it's characteristics as Mulli al uh, proclaims. This is a refutation on the Rawafid who negated, who rejected the Taraweeh who believe that it's not Sunnah, whereas we believe it's Sunnah. So it's a characteristic of Ahl Sunnah. That's the point. But no, 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 no. But it's in the books of Aqeedah. Well, this is placed in the books of Aqeedah. So would you also call all those five or six different uh, aspects that are of fiqh or from the furu' as uh, Aqeedah? No. So let's carry on. As you can see on screen, we've got the book Al Fatwa Al Hamawiya Al Kubra. Now, this is a creed book, okay? This is a creed book. And as you can see on screen, and this book. Is a risala, is a major risala, which affirms the madhab as salaf in the in the in the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So, so this is what it means. So, it was written to the people of Hamawiya, the people of Hims in Syria, to discuss the uh, sifat of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So, what was also placed in this book? Okay, what was also placed in this book? As you can see on screen, Ibn Taymiyyah mentions. Okay. In page 445, what Taraweeh Sunnah? That the Taraweeh is Sunnah. So hold on here. So is Taraweeh a matter of creed, Shamsi? Okay? And the Madakhila? And the Baqsid Salafis? Is it creed now? Taraweeh? Salatu Taraweeh is creed? <laughs> so it's in the books of it's in, it's in Ibn Taymiyyah's book of creed. Uh, Fatawa, uh, Fatwa Hamawiya Al Kubra. It's a book of creed. So what's Taraweeh got to do with Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why? Because it's characteristic. And even in the footnotes, it mentions, okay, as you can see, it says, وَالْقَوْلُ بِأَنَّ تَرَوِحْ سُنَّةِ إِرَادُ الْمُصَنِّفِ لَهَا هُنَا رَدْ عَلَى الرَّافِدَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا صَلَاةُ تَرَوِحْ بِدْعَةِ So, as you just see what the, what the, 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 the person of the footnote, the muhashi, wrote, it's because it's a refutation of the Rafida who said it's a bid'ah. So, Ahl Sunnah, from its characteristics, we play Salatu Taraweeh because it's Sunnah, the Prophet ﷺ prayed it. So, now we ask Imam Abu Hanifa, or he's ascribed to him, put it in his books of creed. Uh, so, if you authority, put leather socks and praying behind a person who's a transgressive uh, or, or a sinner in the books of creed, etc. These were characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. Doesn't mean it's creed. Doesn't mean it's creed at all. So in relation to Khuruj, this was in connection to the Khawarij who made takfir and then did Khuruj. Whereas Ahl Sunnah don't make takfir of the rulers unless we see clear kufr. And we don't basically rebel against the ruler. It's better not to. Better have to have patience. It's like, like Ibn Wazir al Mushtar al Jamani says, as uh, Ibn Mulakkin, Imam Nawawi, Kitab al Bugat, uh, Imam al Qudama, split them into four different groups. Then you've got obviously Ibn Abdul Bar, uh, Imam al Qurtabi. Then you carry on. You've got obviously the uh, Abdullah Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Abdullah ibn Muhammad Abdul Wahab. You can go on and on. I can't remember everything at the top of my head. So there's a risala that was 
that was there was a a, a small treatise or a a, a pamphlet a, a research a bath a risala that was done by uh, by uh, Doctor Abdul Aziz bin Muhammad bin Ali Ali Abdul Latif Ustad Musaid bin Qism al Aqida bin Qism al Aqida. So this doctor here, Abdul Aziz bin Muhammad Ali Ali Abdul Latif, as you can see on screen, did a uh, done a risala, uh, done a, a research under what? Masail al Furu al Warida fi Musannafat al Aqida. He basically did a research in talking about the rulings. Uh, of, of, of the furu, of the subsidiary matters that have been placed in the books of Aqidah, okay, it's by this doctor here. And you, I'll place it in the description box so you can read it, and it's, it's about 40 page uh, bath and a dirasa. You will see how many different aspects of, of fiqh or furu, or, or fur'iyah, or masail ijtihadiyah that was placed in the books of Creed, okay, and he explains it. I'll, I'll, that's just a side note that you could check that yourself and you could read it, okay. It's, it's all comprehensive. It, it sort of argues my point that if it's placed in the books of Aqidah, doesn't necessarily mean it's creed. Okay? Now let's carry on. That this is the uh, explanation of the Aqidah of Asfahaniyah. For those who don't know, Ibn Taymiyyah wrote different risalats, different books to different areas of the Muslim world. So he wrote to the people of Wasit, that's where Aqidah Wasitiyah comes from. Uh, Al-Fatwa Al-Hamawi Al-Kubra, this was written to the people of Hims. Then you got Al-Fatwa uh, or Shar Al-Aqidah Asbahaniya, that Asbahaniya is in Isfahan or Isfahan in Iran, etc, etc. So these were books that were written, and the books of Creed, by the way. So as you can see on screen, now under the Fasal, meaning the subcategory, it mentions, it says that this is to distinguish or to distinguish Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah from the Kuffar and the Mubtadi'een. So that was the reason why they placed things in the books of Creed. Do you understand what I mean? That's why they place things in the books of Creed to Tamayyiz, to, to, to distinguish Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah from the Kuffar wal Mubtadi'een. Just to distinguish Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah from the Mubtadi'een. So certain uh, characteristics, certain khisal of Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah were placed in the books of Creed, which were nothing to do with Creed. But it was, our, it was to distinguish us from them. It was to distinguish us from them, so they placed in the books of Creed. So now I'd like to ask the Madakhir and the Super Salafis, all of the things that I mentioned, so meaning, uh, shortening the prayers is, is in the books of Creed. Wiping over leather socks is in the books of Creed. Praying behind a transgressive person is in the books of Creed. Uh, Imam uh, Barbahari, uh, meaning the uh, godfather of the Madkhalis, uh, meaning the Talmud of the Madkhalis, Shah of Sunnah, places um, uh, praying in trousers in the books of Creed. Also, Muta is haram and with women. It, whoever makes it istihlal, whoever makes it halal, halal for himself, it, it, or, it's haram to the day of but those who make it halal. Then, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, who was ascribed to him, Fiqh al Akbar, mentions that Taraweeh is Sunnah and also wiping over leather socks is Sunnah. And then also we got Ibn Taymiyyah in uh, in his uh, in Aqidah Hamawiyya or uh, Fatwa Hamawiyya al Kubra. He mentions that, um, I forgot it now, it's all the way over here. Yeah, he mentions that Taraweeh is Sunnah. And then also we've got from uh, Shar al Aqidah Asfahaniyya or Asfahaniyya, he mentions that those characteristics uh, or those things that are mentioned in the books of Creed are characteristics of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So now I ask you, Shamsi and your likes, and the Baqsaid and Madakhila, are you going to say now all of these matters that I've mentioned are related to Creed? As you championing Khuruj. Many other things were placed in the books of Creed. In the books of Creed. You got there. You got there. And you got there. Okay? So, what do you have to say for yourself, son? Okay? You can argue as much as you want that it's in the books of Creed. We're not, dis we're not disputing that, but it doesn't make it creed. That's my argument. You could shout it, you could, you could jump as high as you want and shout that. doesn't make it creed. doesn't make it creed. Even though we agree that those khawarij that did takfir and then rebelled, then that enters creed because it's iman wal kufr. Meaning they did khuruj based upon takfir. So then that enters creed because of the khawarij, because of that characteristic. So, Jemsi. I'm not going to start with you, son, because, like I said before, I've already watched probably six to seven uh, episodes of your, uh, the fundamentals or the principles. And, mate, you've made some right cock-ups in there, son. Right cock-ups. So, this is just a brief video. Uh, you know, the team, um, you know, we do review stuff. And when we by team, you must be thinking, what are you talking about, bro, Haji? That I thought it's you on your own. Let's just say there's many brothers uh, that help us and we do collaborate we do help each other so rest assured uh bro haji has very very beautiful brothers that assist him 
uh, without mentioning any names. They know who they are, and I don't need to go and uh, mention everyone individually. So look after yourselves. That's this video done. Many more videos to come. And my Canon camera and shot should be here soon. So uh, this would obviously be better for me, you know, get my own back to the groove. So the captain said, "Meet the Prophet Muhammad and the Nabi." وتحدر الدمع وضاقت برؤى كم مرة عصف الأنكين بداخلي كم مرة قلق كلبي من أسى محتى وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت خير يسكب في أنا كم رأيت قلق